Hello, this is Max Boyce in the Eternal City of Glenith, and I want to read you a little monologue, something I, I wrote a long time ago, and I haven't done it for many, many years. I said we were the band, but uh, I haven't got a band with me tonight, but uh, so I just have to read it to you. It tells the story of my Uncle Will, and he, he wasn't really my uncle, but we used to call him, he used to call him, we used to call him Uncle, and um, he was an ingenious man, a wonderful, wonderful man, a great inventor, and a uh, genius mind, and it was one day he did have a ticket for the England Wheels game at the then Card Farms Park, but but uh, what he decided with this brilliant mind, his ingenious mind, he decided to get in, dressed up as one of the St Albans brass band, the band that played at the Arms Park before every rugby international. And what happened, of course, he, he got in and then the trouble was he told everybody else, so he did it. So they, they, they all decided the same thing in this game. It was absolute chaos. So what happened on that day is that he told the story retold in a legend called The Incredible Plan. There's a story that's told in the valleys, and I'll tell it as best as I can. The story of one Will McGonagall Morgan and of his incredible plan. It all started off on a cold winter's night, a night that was strangely so still, when the Rugby League General Committee banned signed I, their ticket sack, my uncle Will. And he, he was in the wrong we knew all along there was no point in petitions or pickets he was caught with this woman at the back of the stand with the club's allocation of tickets anyway will was banned signed i he, he broke down and cried i i've never seen a man in such sorrow because like judas of old he sold more than gold with the england and wales game tomorrow then he had this idea He'd go in disguise, and he had it all drawn up and planned, and he went to the game to his family shame, dressed up as one of the St Albans brass band. Back in the village, they all got to know, hey, hey, make one for me, will you, they say? There was such a demand, they got it built out of hand. He was making about 70 a day. Well, they made about 82,000. When the night shift was sent two till ten, the jigs were all changed, the tools rearranged, and they started an ambulance men. Then they ran up to buttons and bandage, and policemen were next on the plans, whilst A shift mid Rex with daft glasses, refs with that glasses, Alsatians, white sticks and tin cans. God, I'll never forget the day that much. The likes are nasty again. I can see them still coming over the hill. Hundreds and thousands of men. The refs came in four double deckers. It was going exactly to plan, and the St. Albans band came in lorries, and the police in a Griffender van. It was then I saw Will for the first time. I was standing on the steps by the Grand. He was in a camel hair coat, dressed up as a goat, marching. In front of the band. It was then the accident happened. The roads were all slippy and wet. He was knocked down by a man in a green grocer van and they took him to Davis the Vet. Now Davis the Vet's a bit short-sighted. He said, I'm afraid it's his heart. But he wouldn't have lived longer even if he'd been stronger. His eyes are too far apart. The funeral was held on a Monday. It is the biggest I'd ever seen. The wreaths came in four double-deckers, and there was one from Prince Charles and the Queen. There were sprays there from 5,000 policemen, and one, one from the St Albans Brass Band, and the bearers, the bearers were refs with Alsatians, dark glasses, white sticks and tin cans. We sang at the graveside the old funeral hymns. I we sang at the graveside the old funeral hymns, and we all went to comfort his son. What made him sad, he said, was that dad had died, not knowing we'd win. So I walked again to the hillside, to that last resting place in the hill. It was all quiet. It was all quiet, say, when I leant over the grave and I whispered, We hammered and will. 
when the story is told in the valleys, I've told it as best as I can. It's the legend of when Will McGonagall Morgan and of his incredible plan. <laughs> anyway, I hope you just smile. I've done it for a long, long time. And I, I, I just hope it helps the cause and the good effort uh, by so many people in this uh, really worrying, worry, and presented times. Presidented times. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I hope you've had a little bit and um, stay safe. Bye.